G'day folks, how you doing now, coach? Hello, fucking stupid thing, sorry, one second, there we go. Okay, folks, here you go. Coach Neil here again, and uh, this is just a very quick one, and that really is this one. All right, so uh, I, I was covering this the other day in my uh, live at the beach, but that one was shit because the, the Wi-Fi was crap and the sound was terrible and it kept breaking up. So I'm just going to do this one topic now, and then I'm going to do that one again. All right, so is the virus airborne? Okay, now I said recently that it is, but I need to clarify what I mean by that because it's not. It's not airborne as in you walk outside your front door and it's there waiting to attack you, okay? It's not airborne in that sense. So what I mean by that is that it can be aerosolized in enclosed spaces, um, uh, particularly with uh, uh, recycled air and in rooms, for example, where windows are shut and there is no external airflow, okay? So uh, what, ha what tends to happen is if someone coughs or sneezes and they have the virus, then they expel viral particles, okay? Now, some of those viral particles will be, you know, droplets, and some of them will be, uh, 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 will become aerosolized, meaning that they can get you know, caught, caught in the air in the room, depending on their temperature and humidity, and they will, you know, travel around that environment, okay? So, most of the uh, viral exposure will come from droplet or contact, so literally, you know, uh, uh, mucus, you know, spit spray, basically, you know, um, uh, but but a, a, a small percentage of it can be aerosolized, all right? So um, basically what I mean by that is if you take the cruise ships, for example, you'll see there's been a lot of infections on cruise ships. And that's because, you know, the, the uh, you know, cruise ship is an enclosed space, unless you're on the deck, obviously. And the air is recy uh, recycled all the way through the ship. And, you know, unfortunately, as we've seen, you know, clearly their filtration systems do not have the, uh, the level of filter necessary to destroy and kill viruses in the air, okay? So, um, and that's not their fault. I mean, you know, the, the type of filters required to, to annihilate viruses are extremely high tech. And um, I mean, you know, never know when these cruise ships were built, but you know, I wouldn't think they, they, they have the techno technology in them to have those filtration systems that are required to kill viruses. All right, so basically, if you are in an enclosed space with someone or some ones who have this virus and they cough or sneeze, then that viral, those viral particles can remain in the air for you know, 20 minutes to an hour uh, or so, and they can infect people in that enclosed space. Okay, so that's called aerosolized, okay? It's not called airborne. Uh, airborne is if it's, you know, it's out here and I'm sitting here like this and I can get it, that's airborne. All right, so it's not airborne, it is aerosolized. Okay, so that's the distinction you need to understand. So there is no risk if you go outdoors and I'm sitting out here in the fresh air, there's no risk of catching a virus, okay? Yeah. It, you would be the unluckiest person on the planet if you were able to catch a virus here. You know, like if someone rode past on the street there and they coughed and sneezed out there and they had the virus and the wind was headed in my direction at that particular moment in time and the temperature and humidity allowed to carry that virus up to me on the balcony, it's possible, okay, but it's highly unlikely, all right? So what I'm trying to say is the virus can be aerosolized in enclosed spaces. So if you are in a room with, uh, 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 with no windows open, uh, for example, a, a, a hall, a scout hall, a, a, a church, you know, a, a meeting place, and someone coughs or sneezes in there that's got the virus, it can travel through that enclosed air and infect other people in the room. All right? uh, an example of that is recently in the States, there, were, there was a choir group and like literally heaps of these people in the choir group got infected even though they tried to do the right thing before they went to the, the choir meeting okay so they, they they didn't shake hands they sanitized on the way in they didn't hug and kiss but they all sang together and when they sang together of course when you're singing you are expelling air all right but you're also expelling viral particles if you have them so these this choir was obviously standing you know however however far or close they were together is not really the point the point is that the virus was spreading in that enclosed environment because it was aerosolized and the room was enclosed okay so 
Bottom line is, if you are in an enclosed space and someone has this, then the virus can become aerosolized and travel through the air in that enclosed space and infect other people. All right. Uh, if you are outdoors in the in the natural air, then it's very very unlikely that this is going to uh, uh, affect or infect anyone. Okay, unless you are standing like right beside someone that's got it and they cough and sneeze in your vicinity and the air carries it to you, you know that would be very unlucky. Okay. So at the end of the day, it is not airborne but it can be aerosolized and aerosolization can carry the virus through that enclosed space or through air systems such as ducted air vents and infect people in other rooms okay so uh just bear that in mind you know please don't be afraid to go outside i've heard of people like literally afraid to, to leave their front door because they think they're going to get this virus outside that's not going to happen okay it only possibly could happen if you're in an enclosed space with someone that's infected and they cough or sneeze in that environment and it travels through that air and infects someone else, okay? Uh, generally, if you cough or sneeze, you know, most of the droplets will land, you know, six feet, two meters at the most away, okay? So that's the danger zone, so to speak, all right? But depending on the airflow and the temperature humidity, the virus can remain active in the air for 20 minutes to an hour in that air space, okay? So just bear that in mind. Like I say, I mean, it's not it's not airborne, but it can be aerosolized. So uh, you know, bear that in mind. As always, you know, wear a mask, okay? Because, yeah, you know, uh, coughs and sneezes spread diseases, and a mask will catch a cough and a sneeze, all right? And also, two meters distance determines your existence, so keep your distance from people. Stay isolated, obviously. And at the end of the day, like I keep saying, your immune system is the key to beating this. There is nothing else that you can do to prevent or, 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 or uh, uh, keep yourself safe from this and take care of your health, okay? So uh, your immune system is number one. If you're not looking after yourself, please start right now. On that note, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.